Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I made this spinning portal thing. Actually, I don't even know what it is, but I made this. And I'm going to show you step-by-step -step process of how I made this. To start off, if you want to make this or something similar to this, I went ahead and enabled this thing right here that shows what button I'm clicking. So if I forget to mention what shortcut I'm pressing, you can look at that corner to find out. Going into this project, I had some idea as to what I wanted to do. And the first thing I did was lay the ground and put some steps. At first, I wanted to do the aspect ratio 2 by 3, but I changed that to fit neatly into a YouTube video. I wanted this to be in a enclosed area, so I put the two side wall and the back. Next, I added the circle and then went to edit mode and then click new edge slash face from vertices. Once the face was created on the circle, I went ahead and inset it a few times to get the look I was looking for. I went ahead and deleted some of the circles that I didn't need and duplicated again to make it look more complex and detailed. I went ahead and added another set of circles, extruded both set of circles out and then added a plain circle in the back for each one of them. Before moving into shading, I made sure the placement and the scale of the circles were correct. I also changed the render from EV to Cycles. I downloaded this image from Unsplash and then plugged it in into Alpha and then Emission Color. I got this idea from this video by Max Hay. In order to get the image to show up properly, I had to go to edit mode and click U for UV mapping and then select Cube Projection. This gave me a better control as to what is going to show up in the actual circle. I duplicated this over and over again until I completed all four circle. After rendering out an image, I didn't quite like how linear everything looked. In order to make it more dynamic, I made the big circle face one way and the smaller circle face the other way. I also didn't like how the circle wasn't emitting enough light, so I went back and turned up the strength. I also added a color ramp which helped me change the color of each circle. I then duplicated some of the circles and placed it here and there, thinking it might help make the scene more dynamic and not so empty. Seeing that the edges of the circle were very rigid and not so smooth, I decided to add a subdivide modifier. The next thing I did was add the volume scatter node to add more haze and fog to the scene. The next thing I did was change the texture of the ground and the surrounding walls. As you can see here, in order to do that, I plugged in a color ramp and a noise texture to the roughness of the principal BSDF. Changing the scale, the detail and the roughness and the noise texture helped me get the look I was looking for. I decided to change the color of the circles. So I went back to the shader editor. When I was playing around with different colors, I figured out that the alpha channel was actually making the scene a lot more darker. So I went back and unplugged all of the alpha channel and then changed the strength setting in the emission tab. And playing around with different color settings helped me achieve the look I was looking for. The next thing I did was add this image from texture.com 
into the outer extruded circles. As you can see here, I was playing around with different layouts to see what fit the scene best. But ultimately I decided that I wanted to put some trees. So I downloaded this tree model from Sketchfab. And just duplicating the same trees over and over again and putting it wherever I think it's needed. I also decided to put some area lights to highlight the trees. And the last thing I did was add this image from Unsplash as an overhead light to bring some more warm color into the scene. Overall this was a fun project to work on, but the hardest part was just coming up with an idea. I forgot to record changing the aspect ratio and making the wheel spin. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and here is the final video.